Joe Hopkins here, and I I recently bought this Firefly. Uh, it's like a Strat style guitar, and I already owned. I had previously purchased this Donner Strat style guitar, and I realized you know both of them are HSS Strats. They both got the humbuckers in them and all that good stuff, and I thought, well, why not compare them a little bit, right? Uh, as far as as sounding goes, the way they sound. They're pretty similar. Uh, I've, I've played both of them a decent bit. Uh, I mean, you know, I've done reviews on both of them. If you look through my reviews playlist, you can see how each of them sound. I'm not gonna plug them in and do a bunch of playing because that, that's kind of not what it's what it's about. They, they sound pretty close to the same. It's, it's about the guitars themselves. Which one would you rather have? And they're both around the same price point, you know, between 170 to 200 bucks right around there. I think uh, the Donner's about 200 with free shipping and the Firefly's like 170 plus shipping and they come out about the same, right? So pretty similar guitars. Surprisingly, they, they both play very similarly. They both came set up really well. They both play really well. If I, if I had to say anything, I'd say I, I kind of like the feel of the Firefly a little bit better, but that's kind of a personal preference thing. Um, I can see somebody liking the feel of the Donner better. They're pretty close. They're, they're actually pretty close in a lot of ways. Where there is uh, some differences, well, let's go over it. Uh, the frets on the Firefly seem to be a little bit taller. Uh, I Gotta be honest with you, the Firefly has slightly better frets. They're a little bit taller. They're the stainless steel ball end frets. But then when you go to actually play them, you don't notice that much of, of a difference, right? And I say that because people get caught up on uh, a lot of these neat little features that guitars have, stainless steel ball end frets. But at the end of the day, when I play both of these, they feel about the same. And, uh, I mean, that, that's what the guitar is for, playing, right? How does it feel when you play it? The, the Firefly has the, uh, you know, has that roasted maple neck, and the Donner just has a maple neck with the skunk strip on it. You don't really notice it when you're playing them. So, you know, I, I like the finish on the Firefly better. It's got that sparkly, uh, I think it's their Black Galaxy is what it's called. This one has a more traditional finish. I think uh, both companies offer different finishes. Firefly has a lot more variety in that. Donner, I think they have this and red and maybe a couple other colors. So that might, that might make a difference to you. Tell you something that the Firefly has that the Donner doesn't is locking fret or locking tuners. Tuners, not frets, tuners. Locking tuners. And that's a pretty cool feature. But the Donner has coil splitting in that humbucker. And uh, that makes it a little more versatile. You want a, a triple single coil sound, you can have it. You want the humbucker, you can have that. And uh, that makes a difference to some people. Those are the things that I think would really make a difference to a person is the locking tuners on the Firefly and the coil splitting on the Donner. Because beyond that, they're almost the same guitar in a lot of ways. They like I said, they sound almost identical. <laughs> they feel and play almost identical. The price is almost identical. The only thing I could see making a difference is uh, the finish. Which, which one do you want? You know, and perhaps locking tuners, coil splitting. They're both excellent guitars. And at the price that they're at, you could do what I did and just buy both of them. <laughs> I, you know, I wouldn't blame you one bit. You, the total would come out to like 400 bucks, which you could spend easily on one guitar. Let's be honest, right? Plenty of guitars are in that price range. But, uh, you know, if you were just going to get one, what is it that really grabs you? Another just interesting little thing, and this is just something personal preference kind of thing. The Donner has the uh, adjustment for the truss rod up here, like a lot of Strat style guitars have, and the Firefly has it down here. So that might that might make a difference to you, right? It it might. 
some people prefer having the adjustment at the uh, at the bottom of the neck. Some people prefer it up at the head stock, like on a lot of guitars. I'm just trying to go over what what are the big differences between these two. There aren't really a lot of differences. I know it's a weird thing to say, but there aren't. If you want stainless steel frets, and I, I do appreciate the idea of stainless steel ball end frets. Like I said, it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference to me when I play them, but it might make more difference to you, right? Everybody's a little bit different. The neck profiles are pretty similar. They're not, they're not too far off of each other. The Donner's a little bit, or the Firefly, I mean, is a little bit flatter around the back of the neck. The Donner's a little bit rounder. Uh, so if you want it a little bit rounder, maybe the Donner would be more for you. If you want it a little bit flatter, maybe the Firefly would be more your taste. You know, uh, they're pretty similar guitars. <laughs> they really are. Um, I think Donner, I'm not sure. I think Donner can ship to a P.O. box. So if that matters to you, Firefly can't. So if, if the P.O. box thing really matters to you, you might want to double check me on that. I'm pretty sure I had this one, the Donner sent to a P.O. box. I know Firefly can't send them to a P.O. box. I've, I've been around that block with them a few times. They're both great guitars though. You can't go wrong with either of these. They really sound good, play good, yeah, you know, that all that kind of stuff. It is nice having the coil splitting with this one, which isn't as important to me because I, I have several other Strat style guitars with three single coils. So, you know, in fact, I have a Hard Luck Kings with uh, three single coils that's better than either of these, really. It's a better guitar. So I'm not that worried about the coil splitting. But if you're just buying one guitar, you know, this is the guitar, you just want to have a guitar, that might matter to you, being able to have different sounds like that. But yeah, both fairly standard Strat style guitars. Uh, it's, it's worth taking a look at it. I'll put a link in the description below to Donner's website where you can find these and other guitars that they make and Firefly's website, that's guitarsgarden.com where they sell these and a lot of other types of guitars. They're worth taking a look at because both of these companies seem to make really good stuff at very reasonable prices. And I, I know when when I'm, I'm doing, I basically I'm just saying, comparing the two, they're pretty comparable other than a couple of things. And that's the truth. Like I said, I could take up a lot of your time going through playing each of them and how does this sound and how does that sound. I, I tell you, they're pretty similar. I, I can just tell you that. And I could go through a hundred different things, but the truth is the main differences are the frets, the tuners, and the coil splitting. The, the finishes. Beyond that, they're very, very similar. So there you have it. Two very similarly priced, very similarly playing and feeling guitars with a couple of differences. And those are the differences that really might matter to you. Those are the, uh, the things that really set these apart from each other. The one has this, the other has that. And, uh, you know, I hope that was at least somewhat informative to you. I try to cut to the chase with this kind of stuff. I know, here I'm rambling. I do that. I ramble. But I try to cut to the chase with a lot of stuff. Like with those features, if you really want locking tuners and stainless steel frets, get the Firefly. If you really want coil splitting, get the Donner. That's more or less what it boils down to. I hope, uh, I hope that helps. And, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel for more uh, stuff that I do, and I might be doing more stuff, and who even knows? Who knows? Who can see the future out there in that great land beyond where stuff happens? And I do things, or you do things, or do things happen? Are we even? And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.